Hi, it's Leslie Fightmaster here and welcome to day 44. And today's class we're going to do some hip opening and we'll do some shoulder opening and let's bring the hands together in front of the heart and set an intention for our practice. So switch the cross of your legs and sit up nice and tall and inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms will face each other, triceps spinning forward, and then exhale, bring the hands forward in front of you. Inhale to lengthen, either stay or exhale, walk yourself forward here. So um, class number three, I think it was, we did a flow and we came to Bird of Paradise and many of you said how that was a difficult pose, which it is. Inhale to walk back up. And we'll switch the cross of the legs. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. And exhale to come forward. Hard forward inhale, lengthen. Exhale to extend. So I thought today we would do another class that leads to Bird of Paradise. And maybe you can compare this class with the first time you tried the pose. And see if it's any easier. Not that it will be easier, but maybe you'll have a little better time with it. <laughs> inhale to come up. And switch the cross again. Reach your arms out to a T. And then bring your hands together in reverse namaste or press the palm or press the fists together, sorry. And then keeping that, fold forward any amount. Keep the shoulder heads lifting as you extend again through the spine. And then inhale to come up. And then release it. Switch the cross of the legs. Arms out. Inhale. Exhale. Palms or fists together. Lengthen. Inhale. Roll the shoulder heads back. And exhale. Extending forward. So it was very interesting. And when we filmed the class this day in, in San Juan Capistrano, it's a really nice area. There was um, somebody walking by. And he, I don't know, he just seemed like he was a bit off. And he started yelling as we were filming and I was doing the bird of paradise and he's yelling don't f up except he didn't say f he said the whole word so now we're going to bend the right knee point it to the front cross the left leg over and you can keep the right leg straight or you can keep the knee bent inhale reach up through the right arm and then exhale and twist roll the left shoulder open so I had a heckler during this making this class <laughs> so you'll see I, I, I did kind of F up <laughs> when we get to that pose he got me <laughs> lengthen on the inhale and turn your head back to center and then we'll switch the legs left leg on the bottom right leg crosses on top you can extend the left leg out if you wish taking the twist that way and left arm up inhale nice and tall Exhale to twist, right arm behind. Sit up tall on your inhales. Roll the left shoulder back on your exhales. Nice long breaths. And then head to center. And we'll unwind, crossing at the shins, roll forward, and stretch back in a child's pose, keeping the arms extended in front, lengthening through the spine, spread your fingers out, spin the inner arms up toward the ceiling, the outer upper arms down toward the floor, press extra weight into the thumb and first finger as you make your way into downward facing dog. Arms, shoulders, distance, feet, hips width. And then just start to bicycle the legs, bending one knee and the other as you stretch out through the hamstrings. And bend the knees, hips high, and start to reach your heels down toward the floor. And come way up onto your toes. Again, bend the knees, hips high, lengthen out the spine. Keep the belly and ribs in. Keep the length and reach the heels toward the floor. Arms and ears are in line. And you're stretching out through the spine here. And 
And then look up, inhale, plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Press away from the floor, lift the backs of the knees up. Exhale, hug the elbows in as you lower to the floor. And inhale, little cobra, peel the chest up. Press all the toenails down, inner thighs lifting up toward the ceiling, tailbone toward heels. Maybe lift a little bit higher into a higher cobra if you wish. Again, pressing the pubic bone down lightly into the floor to lengthen the lower back. And then maybe all the way into up dog, thighs and knees off the floor if you're an up dog. Tuck the toes, stretch back into down dog. Gaze your, between your knees or your feet. Right leg up, inhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. Reach down through the left heel. I'm just gonna make some circles in the hip. So just take a few circles to stretch it out in one direction and then the other. Square off your hips, reach up nice and tall and exhale. Right foot forward in between the hands. We'll inhale and come into warrior two. Stretch out the arms. Make sure the knee is right over your ankle. Then point it over your middle toes. Front heels lined up with the back arch. Lift the back inner thigh up toward the ceiling. Let's drop the left arm to reverse your warrior. Bend into the right knee. And come on up on your inhale, lean forward. Right form to right thigh, reach your left arm up and over. Press the form lightly down and look up toward your left arm. And then inhale back into warrior two, stretch out the arms. Exhale, windmill the arms down, chaturanga. Inhale to press up. And exhale back into down dog. Float the left leg up, inhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. And then little circles, start to make your circles in one direction. And the other way. And then we'll lift up, squaring off the hips. Exhale, step the left foot forward, back foot is flat. Come into warrior two. Stretching out the arms, lift the hip points. Make sure your knee is right over the second toes as you reach out through the arms. Heel to arch. And reverse. Exhale to bend into the front leg. Inhale, coming up. Lean forward. Take the left form to the left thigh. Reach the right arm up and over. And stretch the back hip nice and forward. Inhale to warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms down. Move through your vinyasa or go right into down dog. Your choice. Reaching back into your down dog, stretching out here. Inhale the right leg back and up. Bend the knee, open up the hip again. Exhale here. Stretching out. And then square off the hip, step it all the way up. Spin the back heel flats. Warrior two on your inhale. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Exhale, fold forward, reach the arms up any amount. Let your head hang. There was the squeaky door. I think you probably heard it. I tried to block it out, but I don't think it worked. Inhale to come up. And exhale the arms. Reverse. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, coming forward. As you exhale, take your left arm behind your back and roll the shoulder back. Press the right form down, keep widening across the collarbones. Sink forward, right hand down toward the ankle, maybe hold onto that ankle or take it to the floor, inside or outside of the foot. Keep rolling the top shoulder back and moving the shoulder blades toward each other. Release the arm, press into the heel, come to warrior two. Exhale and windmill down through a vinyasa. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale, back to down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Bend the knee, open up the hip, stretching it out. Square off the hips. 
and step it through right between the hands. Back foot flat, heel to arch again, warrior two. Reach out. Knee is over the second toes, right over the ankle. Interlace your fingers, other pinky on top. Open the chest on the inhale. Exhale, come forward any amount. Let your head just hang right down as your arms reach up toward the ceiling. Okay, pressing through the outer edge of the back foot. Come on up on your inhale. Reach the arms out. Reverse on the exhale. Bend the front knee again. Inhale back up, leaning forward, form to thigh, and then exhale. Take your right arm behind your back, either rest at the low back or hook on the thigh, and then roll the right shoulder back, widen across the collarbones. You can slide your left hand down to the ankle or take it to the floor inside or outside the foot or just warming up the shoulders. And then inhale back to warrior two and exhale through chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling backwards, skip the vinyasa, going to down dog, your choice. Anytime it's your choice. Inhale, float the right leg back and up. And as you exhale, I'm going to bring it over toward the left side of the mat. Take that foot flat, take the other foot flat, and reach up and over for a kind of a little back bend. Being very careful here. It's sort of like wild thing, a little different. We're going to take that foot back, lift it up on your inhale. Exhale, step it through, coming to warrior two. And now we'll take the right arm up behind your back, left arm, thumb down, swing it behind for Gomukhasana arms. You can hold onto your shirt if it doesn't work to hold the hands. Roll the left shoulder back. Now we're gonna have our torso face straight ahead, but our back and our thigh can still lift up toward the ceiling. And release, reverse your warrior. Inhale, come up, exhale, top arm behind the back, right hand down toward the floor or not, or this time, option for interlock, right arm on the inside of the thigh, reaching back to hold on to the left hand, but then roll your left shoulder back, move your shoulder blades toward each other, and then inhale back to warrior two, and as you exhale, we'll windmill the arms down through our vinyasa. Remember to take a child's pose, rest whenever you want to rest. It's always your choice. Left leg up, inhale, bending the knee. And we're gonna sweep that left leg across the mat. Take the foot flat and reaching forward with the right arm to stretch out the whole front of your body. If it hurts you in the back or any place, then just skip it. Coming back to center, we'll take that foot back and then step it all the way up between the hands. Back foot flat, warrior two, inhaling. Exhale here. Then we'll lift the left arm straight up and bending the elbow, take the left hand toward the upper back, right arm behind, interlacing the fingers or holding the shirt. Roll the right shoulder back. And again, we're just facing forward with the torso but the back inner thigh lifts up toward the ceiling. Make sure the right knee still points over the second toes. And then release the arms, leaning forward. We'll take the hand down and reach the top arm behind the back, either staying with this or taking your interlock. And rolling back. So if you can't clasp hands in the interlock, you can again hold onto your shirt or if you have a yoga strap or a towel, you can also use that. So and if you can't reach here, then we won't be able to reach with your hands for Bird of Paradise. You can get that strap or towel if you wanna do it. Move back through Chaturanga, inhaling up and exhaling back. Got a bunch of leaves on my mat. <laughs> we look up, step or hop the feet forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. And then press down, rise up, inhaling. And exhale to samastitihi. Just going to practice a little balance here. Picking up the right leg into tree pose. Squeeze the left hip in towards center. Hands to heart as you get yourself 
nice and situated. Inhale, reach up through the arms as you're steady. Press the right foot into the inner left thigh. Drop the right hip down. Keeping a nice steady gazing point to help with your balance. And then point the knee toward the front of the mat. Extend the leg out, shoulders stay right over the hips. Then bend that knee, take your ankle above your left knee, flex your right foot, hands to heart. Start to um, stick your hips out and lean back, bending the standing leg. And keep forearms on thighs or reach the arms in line with the ears. It's a little variation on thread the needle pose. And then slowly make your way up. And we'll release the arms and release the leg. Left foot up for tree, press it to the inner right thigh. Squeeze the right hip in, drop the left hip down. Hands to heart. Add the arms on your inhale, stretching up. Spin the triceps forward as you reach. And then point the leg toward the front, extend it out, keep the shoulders over the hips, try not to lean back here. Use the belly muscles and then bend the knee, take your left ankle above your right knee, bring hands to the heart and then start to sit back. Just sit back, keep your spine nice and long, take the forearms to the thigh, or I'm sorry, to the shin or reach your arms forward. As you continue to sink back, you'll get a nice hip stretch. Keep the weight into your heel and the standing leg. And then slowly make your way out of that. And back to Samastitihi. Inhale, bend the knees and stretch up. Exhale, folding forward, hips over the heels. Inhale to come up halfway. Exhale, step or float back. Inhale, press up into up dog or cobra. And exhale to down dog. Right leg up on the inhale, step it through on your exhale, stay on the ball of your back foot for crescent. Make sure your knee is over your ankle, pull the right hip back and send your left hip forward. Stretch up tall, pulling the front ribs in, lifting the back ribs up. And then we'll bend the back knee slowly, 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 then take it all the way down, untucking the toes. Keep sinking your hips forward. And bring the hands down, straightening the front leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold over your straight front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana half split, or you can slide out toward the full split. Pull your right hip back, though. Send your left hip forward. We want our hips to be squared toward the front of the mat as best we can in this one. Make sure the toes are straight back behind you and your ankle isn't turned in or out. And then... Bending the back knee, tuck the toes under, we'll bend to the front knee for pigeon or come onto your back for thread the needle. Come up onto the hands, lengthen on your inhale and exhale, coming forward. Keep reaching through the back leg, make sure again, all the toenails are pressing down the foot straight back behind you. If you're rolling off to your right hip, put a blanket there or a pillow underneath the hips so that your hips are nice and level. And again, if you have any pain in the knee, come onto your back or do another hip opener that you know. And making the way up on the inhale. Tuck the toes. And now we'll take that foot forward, bring your hands on the inside of the foot, working your right shoulder under the right knee. The back knee can be up or down. We're gonna work the shoulder under the knee, maybe lifting up the arms and interlacing behind the back. Keep pressing through the back leg, rolling the left shoulder back as you balance here for a moment. Squeeze outer hips and inner thighs, dropping the right hip down. Now keeping that leg over the shoulder, lean forward. Lift up the back leg. I use my left elbow underneath my belly. Step or float back, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhaling down dog. Left leg floating up on the inhale. Bring it forward on the exhale. Stand the ball of the back foot. Come on up into crescent. Spinning the triceps forward, lifting the belly, drop the tailbone. Keep the knee right over the ankle. 
definitely important to line up knee over second toe and ankle. Slowly bend the back knee, set it all the way down. Sink the hips forward, so keep sinking the hips and drawing your left hip back as you do. And then bringing the hands to the mat, inhale, straighten the left leg, lengthen the spine over your thigh, fold forward on the exhale for half splits. Keep pulling the left hip back, or if you want to slide all the way out, you can slide out into Hanumanasana, but pull the left hip back as you do. Reach back through the right foot, press all the toes down, and I'm not quite down in a split today, but I have been all the way down to the mat. And I can tell you, I've been all the way into a split down on the mat. I, have, it didn't, I didn't find any enlightenment there, no spirituality there. All I found was my kind of probably a little dirty mat. Bend your left knee getting set up for pigeon pose or lie on your back and take your variation. So the point is it's never ever about how deep we get into a pose. Just get a good stretch. That's all that matters. you're rolling off to the left hip, make sure to put a blanket or a block underneath it. Inhale to come up, tuck your back toes, take your hands on the inside of your left foot and then work the left shoulder underneath the thigh. Tuck the back toes, take that leg up off the floor and then maybe lifting up, interlace your fingers behind your back and keep that left knee over your ankle. Now this side I remember was harder for me. And then we'll release that, keeping the shoulder underneath, lean forward. You can see my right elbow is going to press right in toward my right hip bone. And that helps me to balance. Inhale to press up. And exhale, back, make your way back into down dog. And you don't have to keep your front leg straight in that pose. Look forward, step or hop the feet, inhale to lengthen. Now coming into Malasana, into a nice squat. Bring the hands right to the heart center. Sit up tall. Knees and toes line up again, so knee over second toe. Reach forward with your right arm, wrap it around the leg, lift the left arm up. Take your left hand behind your back and clasp or not. You can keep the left arm reaching up. And then let's release that. Now we're gonna press down into the right foot. So I kinda lost my clasp there and if you lose your clasp, no big deal. This is a stunted bird of paradise. Oops, we lost that one. We're gonna just do it again. So if you lose it, you just do it again. Find your spot to focus on. We're gonna roll the right shoulder around the leg. Walk your right foot closer to the left foot. When you're ready, you'll pick up the right leg. Good, and then keep squeezing the left hip in. Roll the left shoulder back. Keep a steady gaze in this one. It's a challenge. And then release it slowly. All right, back to Malasana. Our squat, hands to heart. Drop the tailbone down and then reach your left arm and hook it around the outside of the left leg. Right arm stays up or you can clasp. Rolling the shoulder back. So ideally, you, you keep the clasp or you use a, a strap, move the right foot in towards center, press down on it and start to lift the left leg up. Stunted bird of paradise pose. So I'm just going to release that one because we're going to do it again. So if it didn't work out the first time, let's give it another go. Reach the left arm around the left leg, right arm behind the back, interlace your fingers or hook your Rest, right foot in towards center, press onto the right foot and lift. Keep a steady gaze, roll the right shoulder back. Straighten out your standing leg as much as you can. And then we'll release that slowly now. Inhale, look up and lengthen, exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, press through the hands and feet. And exhale back into downward dog. So I think my heckler is just about coming up about this time. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring it through. Spin the back heel flat. Warrior two. And leaning forward, take the right arm on the inside of the right leg and grab your left wrist or hand or strap or, or towel. Look down at the front foot. Step your left foot right next to it. Try and keep the left foot right toward the inside of the mat. Lift the right leg up any amount. Maybe extend the right leg out into a bird of paradise. If it's not working for you, just try to come into it again. You can push the pause button and practice it as many times as you like. So let's release it down. And then I'm going to step the left foot back again, heel to arch. And then just release the hands. Vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhaling up. And exhaling back. Yep, he's, he's yelling obscenities right now. <laughs> left leg up, inhale. Back foot is flat. Warrior two, and then into uh, interlock. Roll the top shoulder back. Lean your torso over the thigh. Look down at the foot. Step your back foot all the way to the front. Press onto the right foot, and we'll pick it up. Lifting the left leg up, rolling the shoulder back. Maybe straightening out the leg. Try to straighten the standing leg as well. I could have done a better job there. I'm being yelled at. <laughs> and release it down. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> release the hands. So little mistake there. I didn't know what to do. I was a little flustered. <laughs> and back into Parjva Konasana and then through a vinyasa. So again, if you want to practice this one, just push the pause button. Maybe move through it a few times. It's not easy, but with practice, it gets better. Shift forward, lower all the way to the floor, reaching back for the feet. Inhale to lift up for Dhanurasana. Press the feet back. Keep lifting the hip points up toward the lower ribs. Draw the ribs in. And as you lift the legs up, you're strengthening those, those hamstring muscles. Release down to rest. And again, bending the knees, reach back for the feet. Press up on your inhale, reach back with the feet. Breathing here. Long neck. Gaze off the tip of the nose and lower down to rest. Now, if Dhanurasana doesn't work and you can't reach the feet, feel free to take Shalabhasana the legs straight and lift everything up off the floor keeping the belly and hips down hands by the rib cage inhale upward dog or cobra exhale downward dog look forward step or hop the feet come to seated and extend the legs in dandasana inhale sweep the arms up lengthen exhale hinge from the hips forward inhale to lengthen and exhale for parjvo Tanasana. Sorry, par Paschimottanasana. I'm like, that's not right. Paschimottanasana, forward folding. Pull the toes back, flex the ankles, reach the crown of the head toward the feet. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to release. And we come on to the back. And draw your right knee into your chest and take it over toward the left side for a twist looking over the right shoulder and then back to center and switch hug the left knee and extend, extend the right leg and then take it across for a little twist look over the shoulder And then back to center and hug the knees in, reach the tailbone toward the floor, lengthen out your spine 
As you exhale, make your way into Shavasana pose. So take a few moments to get really comfortable on the mat. If you want a blanket under your head or a pillow under your head, or you can roll a blanket up underneath the knees, whatever makes you comfortable. Once you find that comfortable place, come into natural breathing and let everything sink into the floor and relax. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. As you're here resting just a little bit longer, our quote today is going to be from Kyle Gibran, who's the author of a wonderful book called The Prophet. I'm going to try to put that link below if I can remember. He says, beauty is not in the face. Beauty is a light in the heart. So start to reawaken your body. After you finish your practice, you have that light in your heart, so you get to shine your beauty here all day long. Rolling off to one side, and then slowly making your way back up to seated. Take the palms together, sitting up tall. And then we'll bring our hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. And our hands to the heart to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. And our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. And I honor each of you. I thank you so much for practicing with us today. I'm proud of you, day 44. Namaste. If you enjoyed our practice today, please again push the like button. It really helps. And subscribing really helps. Sharing the classes, super helpful. I love your comments. I love to hear about your intentions or other things that are going on as you move through this 90 days. If you are in a position where you could make a donation of any any amount, it really helps us to spread uh, free yoga as to as many people as we can. And there's a link below. Also, you can visit fightmasteryoga.com and there's a an Amazon link you can click to help support us as well if you shop on Amazon. Bye.